and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Daybreak Discard. So this is going to be an interesting one where I wanted to have another Leona deck. Um, we played Leona yesterday in the Day and Night deck. I really like that deck. That deck was pretty sweet. So I recommend checking out that one uh, from yesterday. But basically what I kind of learned with Leona from playing is that um, you really want to have as many Daybreak cards as you can and um, try to level up Leona as fast as possible. And then once you have a leveled up Leona and a Ravan in play, with Ravan um, saying it's always day for you, so every card gets the Daybreak ability, you want to just keep having more Daybreak cards and playing more Daybreak cards. The rest don't really matter because each one stuns an enemy and you can get an Alpha Strike in fairly easily. And so um, there's there's about 20 or so of the Daybreak cards that are, are pretty good that I wanted to play. So it's like, what are we doing with the rest of the deck? So what I wanted to do was pair that with um, some discard stuff and some rummage stuff in particular so that we get to um, go through and find more of the Daybreak cards. We're not playing, um, you know, a bunch of other cards that we don't really need. So we'll have like uh, Zonite Urchin, Rummage and a sump dredger these discard cards that will be able to filter through the other stuff and really look for more daybreak cards to be able to pair with leona um, or be able to go find leona and stuff like that so that's what i was thinking here um so yeah so that's that's our plan with all of these pnz cards plus pnz gives us mystic shot as well for another good removal spell and then i decided i was thinking about doing this with vi also thought about doing this with Ezreal, with Ezreal, um, with Leona stun each each time we Leona stun, um, you know, give Ezreal um, one of these targets. So thought about doing that. Thought about doing Vi, but you know, like we already have a really great five drop in Ravan. Do we want like another one with Vi? Kind of just clogs up our five mana slot. What I decided to do is just go with Aurelian Soul, because. This card is just incredibly powerful, and it's obviously going to be our, our top end thing that's that's just super powerful. So if we get to the really late game, and we need like a way to win in the really late game, if Leona's not quite giving us enough, we'll just be able to play a really in soul, um, invoke some awesome celestial card, and uh, you know create more celestials with a really in soul. But and so I'm playing all three. Now this is a card we don't really need until like the very late game, and that's like even a maybe. We don't really need that much. But it's kind of like the, the discard deep deck where it has like the three Nautilus that you don't really need Nautilus until really late. Um, if we have, if, we, if we're stuck with Aurelian Soul early, we won't be scared to discard it. That'll be just a card that we'll use with our, our discard cards to just rummage it away and we'll go find a new card um, instead. But it's still in our deck, so for the late game, we can find it, play it, um, and it will be awesome. We also have the Solari Priestess that will be doing a little bit of invoking for us as well. I'm going three Bastion, one Sunblessed Vigor. While we play these games, maybe that may want to be two and two. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with the three Bastion um, to help protect Leona. But we'll see about that. All right, so that's that's kind of the theory behind the deck that I'm playing. Um, let's give it a try. I feel like these Daybreak cards can fit with a whole lot of different regions. Um, but I wanted to try to maximize them with the PNZ. Yeah, that's true. If we were playing Vi, we could go Zenith Blade. I'm just not that big of a fan of Zenith Blade. But that is true that with Vi, Zenith Blade is a lot more um, desirable. Alright, I like the Soldier. I like the Priestess. Um, Flame Chompers is perfectly fine for if we draw one of the other discard stuff to just give us something to discard. We'll mulligan the second priestess. Look for other stuff. Bless the people and fear the heretics. I'll write my own story. Alright, so first daybreak card done. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Means they're not going to be able to attack. That's number two. Ooh. This is tough. 
This is tough. The Traveler or Written in Stars. This is tough. I don't know. Even Meteor Shower can be removal for Zed. Um, so the thing is, Written in Stars takes costs a lot of mana. But it does grant a plus two, plus two. Let's, let's try this. I want to, because I want to find Leona, right? Like, we, we already have three out of four, Daybreak. Uh, we really want to find another Leona. And so that's, that's my hope here with this Written in Stars. I think I'm probably going to play Robin next turn. Oh, it's turn four. Anyway, we don't get to play Robin. Um... Hmm. Alright, this turn's gonna hurt. What gives me pause about playing Solari Soldier is the slow the Solari Soldier is awesome to have with the Lulu, or with, not Lulu, sorry, with the Leona in play. So it gives me pause to cast it. Does kind of seem like maybe that my opponent has a Ranger's Resolve. I hope not. Wow. They do not. So they just let Lulu die. Yeah, if I'm them, I'm having that Warshaft support the Lulu. Cool. I like that. Because I want to be able to have... Basically, I want to play Leona with Bastion available. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Maybe. Alright, makes sense. They have another Lulu. I'll stun the protege. And give me a 6 8. Carry her light across the mountain. Bask in the light. So, what if um, Arach was it Arachnoid Horror, I think, is the 3 mana 3 2 that stuns in Noxus? So, what if that 3 mana 3 2 that stuns an enemy was actually a 3 mana 6 8 <laughs> that stuns an enemy? Would that be too good? Next turn, we're at 7 mana. Alright, we can play this Priestess. Alright, GG's. Soul Invictus. See, the, the Daybreak cards are awesome. And so we just want to find more of them. And that's why we have like these discard cards. So yeah, our, our, my O2, you know, we never found a, a disc, you know, one of the other outlets. Yeah, the O2, the jury rig, those cards aren't, aren't great. But, um, you know, they're, they're the cards that are kind of in there that help us dig. You know, like if we find our urchin and things like that. Um, I kind of want to just keep this hand. This hand looks pretty good. Yeah. It's basically, do I want to keep Priestess? And I, I think we keep Priestess. Priestess is kind of small, though, for a three-mana card in an aggro matchup with our opponent playing Burn. Um, of course, I don't I don't want to really insole, obviously, but I, I have Urchin here, so I this is a perfect card to discard. Instead of mulliganing Aurelian Soul and then getting, like, some card that I maybe want, we're just going to discard this Aurelian Soul right away because I don't want it. Then go look for something else. Getting in for one. Anything else? <laughs> I 
Is that mulligan a really in soul? Then we draw like a more useful card. And then we mulligan the more useful card into the Aurelian Soul that we mulliganed away, right? Because then we'd have three Aurelian Souls that we're drawing into. Shield bearer is so big. Alright, then playing nothing else. I'm probably just gonna play this priestess now. I'm sure they could go Vision or whatever, or Brother's Bond. I mean, that's... I I love that. I'm, Yeah, I could Sunblast Vigor and save this. I'm not going to do that, though. We're going to save that. We'll just take the trade. Ooh, this is tough. I'll go Traveler. That's tough. The, the deal 4 and deal 1 is awesome against Draven and Jinx, right? It does 4 damage against Draven and Jinx, and then, like, the one is not, um, trivial either. The Solari will unite the heavens. I wonder if I should attack with Solari Priestess first, and then see what they do, and then play Leona. Sunlight blinds. Just you and me, fish bones. That's a good one. I don't know, it's... It's hard to argue with playing the two drop and still having mana for the plus zero, plus two. But it's also really good to just get this Robin and play. Is how valuable that card is. Hard to argue either way. If they are attacking with Jinx, I'm blocking Jinx with the 1-2. Looks like I should have gotten the Written in Stars instead of the Traveler. Daylight. Can I take three more damage and get that thing out of here? No, that's not worth it. Okay, let's see. I want to see what you give me. Nothing I love. I take the life steal. The answer is here somewhere. Immerse yourself in the unknown.
Yeah, I'm hoping the lifesteal can kind of counteract this pink's ability. I don't need to attack and let them just block with like these little 1-1s one and allow them to be able to go wide easier than what they are currently able to do. Come on, fish villains. I don't want to. I have to do. Is this what you seek? Ever vigilant. So we take one, go to eight. I'll play the Golden Sister this turn. Wow, right, that's that's damage that's not going to upstairs at me. My journey ends. Yes, light. What once was two. No, so I can't be too mad at that. Definitely wish I would have just taken the Written in Stars instead of the Traveler. I should have just done that because of these champions. Um, you know, it would have been able to kill Jinx. And this game would be much different than what it is currently. This is going to hurt for you. Alright, well, that's the last vision. Third one of those. So this will get rid of this Draven, get rid of that Draven. Two Dravens gone. Otherwise it would have had... Do they have leveled up Draven? No, I guess not. Still, we'll have Leona. Play, okay. I was going to say, play the Urchin after the Super Mega Death Rocket. Is it even good to play Leona? Should I play something else? I'm gonna discard this Zenith Blade. Mm. The dawn has arrived, and so has its overbearing warrior. Now it's a party. The party has arrived. This doesn't make any sense to kill that O2, does it? Does it make more sense to kill a 3-1? It's like, if I, if I kill the O2, then they can't challenge Leona. 
No, yeah, it makes sense to kill the O2. Of course, we won't get the daybreak of like the silence of the unit first, but I don't think that that's gonna matter. Let's see, our urchin did its job. Our urchin found. Now we're cooking. Oh no, that's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. Darn. Never mind, our urchin didn't do it. Oh, no, we get to stun something. So that's still counted as, as daybreak? Awesome. Not lethal anymore. Saved by the daybreak. attacking with the first uh, I guess yeah I guess you have to attack with both don't you if you want to trade with the elusive That was a nice top deck. Really? Jury rigs the next card? <laughs> Can I discard the jury rig? I brought my books. This isn't good right. deck building. Alright, so no jinx. At least not yet. I'm out of stuff now. That a couple of good turns for them. Oh. Yeah, great turns for them. Alright, one on one. I think that whole game I also think I would have won that game if I just taken written in stars the very first invoke that I had instead of the 3-4. That jinx just did so much work that first jinx they had three right yeah i think they, they had three super mega death rockets so it's just so much damage and it killed a bunch of my units um and then of course they it was out for you know i don't know four or five turns they got to draw like four or five extra cards with the leveled up jinx i should have just taken the written stars and because that was kind of the only way for me to lose was that jinx so lesson learned Lesson learned there with the new cards, for sure. I don't really want Bastion or Sunburst yet. Um, since we're mulliganing all the other stuff, I'll just mulligan the Aurelian Soul. But we got a jury rig to discard. Yeah, not only too many rockets, but also just too many... Um, too many extra cards that they got, that they got with the uh, Jinx, probably... I said probably about four extra cards or so. However many rounds it was alive for. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Anything else? <laughs> you cannot hold us down. Well, Night Urchin's a pretty good card. We have the triple one drop start. Each 
Each act of heresy is an act of passion. Any act of heresy will be punished. Punished. Night descends. I will be heard. Oh, darn. They weren't scared. Bask in her radiant blessing. And grab the warrior. And so much for that fast start I had. The thing I'm worried about of playing Leona right now is them killing Leona. <sighs> I'm still gonna play Leona. What about them killing Leona before Leona levels up and it does stuff? We'll see if I discard this Aurelian Soul. Maybe not. Like if I go Warrior next turn. You know, I'm, I don't have to play the Sump Dredger right away, but. I could go next turn. We could go Shield Breaker to level up Leona, and then and you know have that on defense, um, and then maybe some treasure as well. We'll kind of see. Arise in our time of need. Hey, Lucian, welcome back. Welcome back. Diana's at three. Leona's at three. Both Diana and Leona are are fairly easy to level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds pretty cool and stuff. All right, now Diana levels up. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. And the moon's pretty cool too. I wish I could play this and the warrior. So Morning Light would activate Leona twice. We would stun Diana and the Crescent Guardian. I just want to play the warrior. My people as long as I draw breath. Do the stun stuff on defense. The mind is fading. the land in silver. All right, Nocturne's definitely scary. Making everything fearsome, can't block anything, all that kind of stuff. Definitely scary. Wish I could get Leona to stun Diana 
but I can't. Light of day reveals the truth. Daylight blinds, but night renews. Ours is the one true light. Sunlight blinds. Cool, no drain. All right, that thing's super scary. Especially with my hands. Wish I had that rummage about now. Am I getting rid of? Am I getting rid of this huge fearsome thing? Am I getting rid of Diana? Because that changes which one of these I want. I guess I'll just take the Fallen Comet to keep my Sunlight options open. But I think I'm probably getting rid of Diana, I think. case the deal for deal one would have been better because we can take out the priestess as well as the moon rises reflection begins We are not going to be leveling up a Rillian Soul. But we'll still get some Celestials. Um, I do not behold a Celestial card, so none of these work. But we will get another Celestial card um, at round start. So this is kind of just why I have a Rillian Soul in the deck, right? Like, it's just here for the late game to just give us a late game when we need it kind of thing. So I think both of these cards are celestial cards. I'm pretty sure that other one is also a celestial card from this Lunari Priestess the turn before, I think. So I think Obviously, this one on the left is a celestial card, but I think all three of those are. Stars like jewels on the cloak of night. Um, I was, am I supposed to attack with a ten ten? They block with a nine five. No, probably not then. All right, now we behold another now celestial card. Grant 
allies everywhere, plus two, plus two. Oh, I forgot about that. That's a permanent buff to every ally everywhere, isn't it? Kind of forgot that that thing's a permanent buff. Oh, why did I Mystic Shot something in response? What am I doing? I was just discussing the card instead of actually killing something. So do you reveal your other card, I think? Um, well, that's game. Yeah, because these are all fearsome now. They challenge one thing. Well... I take nine? Good thing I didn't Mystic Shot. Well, I guess if I would have Mystic Shotted, I would have killed the three two. No, don't have another card. So Please cost three plus mana. Please don't be able to play that. 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 Nah, they're gonna play it. All right, looks like I should have attacked with Aurelian Soul. They would have blocked with a 9-5, but still, that would have got that out of there. Then I could have obliterated other things. It's good learning, you know, like, there's all these, like, with these invoke cards, there's so many different celestial cards that you just kind of have to play a good amount and get used to what opponents can do and everything and just kind of get, you know, kind of see, see it. For yourself so hopefully y'all are learning also um those, those y'all that are watching these games um, all right so it looks like maybe a similar kind of deck with diana and then aurelian soul instead of leona and aurelian soul yeah ggs that was a good game that was a good a good game of learning and everything uh, definitely saw things that I haven't seen before Get him, Shield Bear. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Anything else? <laughs> I'll just pass the turn. have a pretty interesting little deck here kind of combining daybreak with all with some nightfall cards it looks like with having a really soul at the top end Take them all out. None are lost. They only 
Oh my gosh, I am... That's really bad, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have just played the jury rig at all. I didn't think about... I forgot about that. <laughs> Mistakes the new cards. Uh... Alright, I need to get my head in the game. I've been too worried about this thumbnail. I need to get my head in the game. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Yeah, if only Jury Rig had the Daybreak effect. Um, seems like an important card to keep around. You know, that means I won't have that spell shield for Leona now. Probably an important card to keep around. I'm glad Ravan is pretty awesome and creates another Solari Priestess for us. So even though I messed up the first one, we can uh, redeem ourselves with the next one. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Radiant blessing. So like I, I posted the the Nocturne Nightfall video, you know, on time here. It's like the same time that I always post them, uh, the videos, but. You know, it has basically, like, I, I don't have a, a, a thumbnail for it, though. The person that makes my thumbnails hasn't, hasn't made one for it. Uh, and so, you know, it has, like, a, you know, like, a third of the views right now that, that I would expect it to have, that I think it would have. So I wonder if, I wonder if I should just wait and... It's just not really that great to play Leona right now, you know, with the 1 2 and the 1 1. Hmm. I don't have anything great to play. I wonder if I should just wait and then just like throw a couple of videos up closer together, but they have the thumbnails so people will click on them. Maybe I need to do that next time. All right, we'll just play Leona. Even though stunning a one-two isn't anything special, and it's not like I can play other stuff. You know, I don't. They killed my five-five that says it's always day, so we're not going to have the constant um, benefits that we have. I do want to play this morning light while we have the daybreak while we have the solari priestesses in play because then this morning light can do the double invoke for us that would be really nice yeah robin's definitely a very important synergy card for sure because this would be a, a good turn for morning light you know even turn on the flame chompers daylight is unrelenting but not eternal sunlight guide you my brethren Devotion through battle! Hold still!
Gosh, they're just gonna have millions of celestial cards in hand. They played nothing for me to use this meteor shower on. Don't get the daybreak effect, but I'm gonna kill this mountain scryer since they have they have so many invoke cards in hand. I want them to I want that to cost less. Or like I want to get rid of that thing that makes them cost less. The Solari kind of will not suffer heretics or their lies. The Solari uh. cannot tell heretics from true believers. I'm glad they drew Diana with the Written in Stars to make Diana cost less than drawing Aurelian Soul and Aurelian Soul cost less because they'd be able to play Aurelian Soul the next turn. Night descends. I will be heard. Alright, so that's too bad. So the Morning Light will only invoke one card. Not two. Night flowers upon my blade. The promise of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tender. So Fallen Comet would be for Aurelian Soul for next turn, where I can go Mystic Shot plus Fallen Comet to take out Aurelian Soul. That's probably just too important uh, to take that. Uh, where is my... What? Did I not get that comet? Where's my comet? I clicked on the comet, right? There it is. Man, I was scared. So if it has to resolve so they cast deny, then we wouldn't get we wouldn't get that part. And if that's the case, then they shouldn't they shouldn't do that first. They should do that after the spell would resolve. Well then, yeah, it's weird that they'd have us choose first then. It's quite weird. Mr. 
magical levitation requires concentration. We are one and the same, Sun Child. No more of your lies, Nulari. Um, I'll just end the round here. All right, so now it's a really soul turn. Their sense travels on the night air. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Take living legends. Go, floating crystals. And kill my Leona. I got a backup Leona with this morning star or morning light. Forgive me. All right, they're going for the elusives. Oh, right, because they they don't have challenger on their Diana right now. So we're not leveling up Aurelian Soul. Which is a little awkward. Do I let them create gems? Or do I keep the Mentor of the Stones in play and let them block with Mentor of the Stones? Kind of a tough call. Back heretic. Strike while the planet. Let's get rid of the blocker. Well, I guess I should be blocking with a real. So basically, I don't want I don't want a really soul to take damage, but I guess I should be black with a really soul because of the fury. Fury would help grow this thing; would make it like eighteen. You know, we're getting closer. Morning Light would definitely level up Aurelia. It stunned Diana and stunned the 6-5. I could challenge the 2-3. Or the 2-1. Force them to block the 2-3 with other stuff. Alright, well that's a problem, of course, because their Aurelian Soul will be leveled up. So that will obviously be a problem. Your favorite star. I created it. Your stars are worthy attendants of the moon.
I want to fall in comment here before they that their celestial cards cost zero. Well, that's pretty good. It's good against this Shade Stalker. My, how they stare. Don't have enough mana for that. I'm hoping they don't use any removal and I'm able to play the shield bearer, which will be 20. And we can level up the soul. That's what I'm hoping. Daylight is unrelenting. Yeah, opponent's playing so slow. Alright, so I did use five of their mana. That was not free, so they're invoking an expensive card. So we know they have... These three are all Celestials. Two of them cost seven or more. So the attack with Aurelian Soul is free, right? Let's silence this thing first. Spell shield and everything. Cannot hold us down. We'll be free. All right, Fury. Now it's eleven. I would have blocked it the last time. Would be twelve. The enemies of day will fall. Awesome. All right, leveled up. That's going to be important with our living legends. Now they'll pay attention. I wonder how Sunburst... Okay, so let's say they, they spend... They play an expensive unit that has Sunburst, expensive Celestial. If I Sunburst it... Well, I guess it, that's only going to do six damage to it with the whole Silence it. Obviously, um, I know that that the shield... The spell shield will counter Sunburst, but what will happen if we have Leon out here also that, you know, it's a Daybreak, so it stuns it first. It's like, what happens... Yeah, what happens with that? Um, will we stun this with Leona and then silence it and deal six to it? Is that what's going to happen? If I target this? I don't know. I don't know if that's what happens. No? That won't work the way I want it to? Sunburst happens first. Okay, so that would be bad. It would still be stunned, I guess. Strike while the planets align. So we're still stunning it. I can play Morning Light and then also stun it. So I want to get cards out of my hand for this Living Legends, also. Sunlight burns in our weapons. This will stun this twice, so like one gets rid of the spell shield and the second one stuns it.
Whatever the cost. More purge than brawn, I'm afraid. Gosh. Multiple living legends? Each journey is a discovery. This is just silly. And play a new Diana. Yeah. Yeah, games are going longer with all these invoke cards. Definitely making games go longer. All right. They concede. All those cards cost zero. We'll play them all. Victory today. Play another Living Legends. They all cost zero again. Make sure they have no blockers coming up, and you know, just basically find enough removal. Make sure we have like the best attackers ever. All right, two and two. <laughs> yeah, it's over an hour here. And two and two. Yeah, um, that is true. That the the Lulu Shen deck was was pretty fast. You know, that one was probably a little under forty. That was under forty minutes for our five games. Yeah, it's these these invoke cards are definitely very slow. Okay, so we'll have. Urchin on one, and then Priestess, Leona. We could get aggroed out with this opener, but I'm going to keep it. So yeah, I don't need this Aurelian Soul at all. Discarding that. Yeah, support does definitely seem like a really viable mechanic for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, Southern Smoke, get, go ahead. Uh, the question is, anything that we can call pretty safe to craft right now? Um, with this game, it's so easy to get more shards and craft more things. I would just say, just go ahead, do it, craft stuff. Um, yeah, like, you'll you'll get more shards and, and more champion, you know, getting a champion wild card every week. Um... Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. My 1-2 can't block that 2-1. So I also have the, the plus zero, plus two to protect Leona. Playing Leona right now means Leona gets to challenge the Golden Narwhal, with the Golden Narwhal being vulnerable. Never lost a fair game, or played one. Or they shouldn't have two, two mana to kill a 3-5, so let's just kill this Twisted Fate right now. I think a Tarek Vlad? I guess I hadn't really thought about Tarek Vlad. Tarek is pretty tough. And that goes well with Vladimir. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I am glad no Gangplank this turn. That would not have had the mana to sunburst the Gangplank. Um... I don't think I really want to play another 1-2. I think I'd rather play this 4-3. Oh, 
Well, let's see. If I play the 1-2, that gets Leona to be 3 out of 4. And next turn, we either Sunburst or Golden Sister. I just want more Golden Sisters for this matchup. Get a nice Life Steal and Elusive Body. Both of those. That seems ideal. Plus, the other thing about this line, instead of going Sump Dredger... I guess they're, they're both three mana. Never mind. Either one would have been the same. We get to keep Vigor, Shot, and then these things available. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. This is a tough call. I'm worried that if I go Sunburst on the Gangplank, they have the Powder Keg. If they have Make It Rain, they like kill multiple blockers. They have all this other stuff attacking. It's pretty scary. And so I think I get the two bodies with one of them being Lifesteal in play. Instead. The Sunburst would have leveled up Leona, but leveling up Leona right there doesn't accomplish too much. Believe or burn. Back heretic. I bow to no one. They did have the Mega Rain. I'm glad we didn't just go for the deal six damage at the time. to not have two health. Yeah, I could see Lulu pairing with PNZ with uh, Flame Chompers. Maybe Teemo. I could definitely see that. Alright, so that's a Gangplank's parlay. That shuffles a Gangplank back. We'll kill another Gangplank. Definitely whittling down their cards pretty fast. Golden Sister was really good at that, and now we'll be able to have another Golden Sister. Ooh. Okay. Saving Gangplank. Good thing we have Mystic Shot. I attack with both of these. Do you think they're going to block Leona? Devotion to battle. Probably. But maybe not. 
But probably because if they tried to do anything first, you know, we can we get to play a daybreak card and stun. No mercy for heretics. Stun the gangplank, and they gotta be worried about that. Alright, GG's. Silver Sister. Getting it done with that 4-3 lifesteal. Alright, that was a good game. GG's. Alright, 3 and 2 with Daybreak Discard. Our discard package didn't really line up for us too well. Urchin was really good, but we didn't really get to... Um, you know, discard things exactly when, he, when we wanted to all the time. Um, I wasn't sure really whether to go more heavy on Jury Rig or Flame Chompers. I think with kind of how these games play out and everything, I think I'd want to go three Jury Rig, one Flame Chompers as far as that's concerned. Um, but yeah, you know, we just kind of have to keep on experimenting with all sorts of other stuff to do with the Daybreak cards. I thought this, this went pretty well. Um... You know, we didn't really see the, the power of Rummage and all that kind of stuff. I definitely considered, you know, like I was really close to putting Chump Lump in here to create some Mushroom Clouds to give us more discard fuel, but kind of felt how the games would play out that maybe I wouldn't have enough time. Um, some Bless Vigor is, is also just awesome. I like that card quite a bit. And may, maybe it should be two bashed into some Bless Vigor. Um, I'm not sure there. Robin's amazing. We, we weren't... We weren't very effective at keeping Robin in play. Opponents uh, would, you know, recognize how good Robin is and wouldn't let us keep that card in play to really go off with Leona. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that's Daybreak Discard. And, and the Aurelian Souls, I think that was a good touch to have those at the top end. Not scared to discard it. You know, we discarded the we discarded them turn one quite a bit with Urchin. Um yeah, not scared to discard it, but it's a, just a great card to have access to, as we saw in that uh, fourth game. Um, yeah, you could go, you could go gems. Also, yeah, you could go gems and use gems as discard fodder, but I just don't, I don't know if like the gem cards are that great for this kind of deck. Um, but you could go that route as well. You know, maybe mentor of the stones, be able to like attack and turn like one of these things into a better unit like one of these solari cards um into just a better unit that um and have it die get some gems and then discard the gems that's definitely another option you find find room for that that would be probably you know instead of like your your flame chompers um you know playing that mentor of the stones instead that could be a better option give you a lot of I'll give you a lot of things. The the thing about Mentor of the Stones with creating the three gems, it also makes it a lot easier to play Rummage. So you're probably looking at like three Rummages at that point. Um, uh, so yeah, maybe that would be maybe that would be a good way to take this deck. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, but anyway, that's Daybreak Discard. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over the there. And of course, leave those comments. We're still just scratching the surface here, just day two now, uh, scratching the surface of all the different um, deck combinations, all the different champion combinations. You know, keep leaving those comments and uh, giving those suggestions. All right, thank you so much for watching the Daybreak Discard video, though, and I will see you for the next one.